Hello everyone. Welcome to the Universal Classroom. And our today's video is about the cell reference. What is a cell reference and its types? And uh, we are taking an example of class results uh, to better understand the cell reference. So, first of all, what is cell reference? As we already know, all the blank spaces here are known as cell every blank space is a specific cell and every cell has an address like j3 the first alphabet denotes the column and the second numeric value denotes the row okay. and what is a cell reference cell reference is a simple term that how we are using cells or how we are referring cells to create a formula okay and uh, the first one will be relative reference type what is relative cell reference relative cell reference we are just simply entering a formula and giving cell reference first of all uh, if I suppose we are calculating total obtained marks here the first thing we have already mentioned in our video that how can we do some in different ways okay the first thing is just entering the manual values like 71 plus 72 plus 38 plus 42 plus 48 and then enter if there is a drawback in this and the first thing is it's time consuming and second thing is if we want to uh, correct or if you want to change the data there is no automation in this like if you are making 42 to 40 see it's not changing so for automation purpose we use uh, cell references first we will use uh, how to use relative cell reference so here we will find the sum that will be total obtained marks by all the students like student a student b then so on so how will we do it we will start it with equal to sign then the first thing we can do is select this cell plus this cell plus or we can just manually type it with our keyboard uh, for this what is the, uh, the cell address for this that's e column e and row 2 so e 2 see uh, it it is showing it's highlighting here that you have selected this cell now plus this plus this okay then just hit enter now see if we are changing this value to 42 see it's automatically getting changed so there is a benefit of this okay so this is uh, a simple reference that we are giving Okay. or we can use the sum formula here like sum and selecting the cell values and then close the bracket and hit enter now for these values we can just copy paste this formula or we can just drag this up to here okay now see uh, it's showing sum c2 c2 to g2 okay and uh, this formula we have entered and the next we have copied so they see this is automatically got getting changed c3 to g3 c4 to g4 and so on and uh, how excel is calculating this so it's a simple method that we are saying to excel that in this cell we want total of all five cells that are in the left side of this cell we have we are entering formula like in this cell we want some of these now in the next row when we are uh, copy pasting the formula it automatically detects that uh, we are using the same uh, formula here also so it's using the cell reference like we are taking five left to this cell now it it is taking five left to this one cell 
and 5 less to this one cell c4g4 you can see it okay this is how a relative several reference works now the second type of reference is absolute cell reference and what it denotes for example we want to find the percentage of marks percentage marks and how will you find it we have the opt-in marks and the total marks so just uh, try to use the cell reference but let you reference type formula here this upon this and then hit enter and then go back to this cell and use the percentage style okay it's working now just drag this up to bottom see there is an error we have mentioned this error in our previous video also what what is this error this is divisional error and why it is coming because it is using the relative cell reference here basically what this formula is saying that we have entered in this cell it is saying that we are taking the first left of this cell and then uh, second left from 10 down to this cell like this one reference of this is is equal to this and then we go to 10 down and 2 left this okay so it's taking the same formula here also like here is g12 then it is moving to g13 taking 10 down and then 2 left it is taking this value okay but here is blank because we are using the relative cell reference it will move it's dynamic value these are dynamic values actually it moves so uh, for example we are entering this value here 500 see it's calculating now so how will we resolve it we have to fix this cell we have to uh, fix this cell that uh, this cell will not move in the cell reference like uh, this is g12 okay and how will we fix it we will just use the dollar sign dollar sign in front of g and dollar sign after g and then hit enter now if you will drag this it will calculate everyone every cell okay the other way to do this is there is a shortcut key like and just use the control here uh, now what we can do is uh, when we are entering the this g12 we will just hit f4 okay f4 key will automatically freeze this okay freeze this cell so this is absolute cell where we can freeze a specific cell okay so uh, we are moving to our next uh, reference type that is mixed reference reference uh, we can freeze one column or one row and I suppose we are calculating the percentage of subject one and percentage of subject two and how will we calculate it uh, we just have to simply go to subject one marks upon obtain marks and then percentage mark. if you will copy this this is relative reference we are using in this okay if it will not work in if we will uh, move it to here because it will pick uh, d2 upon i2 it is taking the d2 value okay but it is moving here okay and uh, to resolve this like if we are using the absolute cell reference here we are going to fix this value like uh, h2 in this uh, let's suppose we are uh, freezing the h2 here okay now what it will do it will calculate the values okay here but if you will drag it down then see 
it's taking the h2 only because we have freezed that cell so uh, this type of absolute cell reference is also not working in this so we will use mix reference here we will fix this h column we will fix the h column completely okay and how will we do it that will be equal to marks of subject 1 upon use the dollar sign and what we will select h and then we will not use the dollar because if we will use the dollar again it will uh, fix the row also okay we only have to fix the uh, column only two okay now see just drag it here okay now just copy it and paste it here okay check uh, c2 upon h2 c2 upon d2 upon h2 c3 upon h3 so what basically we have done we have fixed h color like if we are uh, moving in the same row then the value remain uh, this value will remain the same but if we are moving down it will also move down so this is basically mixed reference we are using mix uh, we have we are not that we can directly use uh, relative reference or absolute reference so this is common example that we have used uh, for the relative reference absolute, absolute reference and mixed reference so the conclusion here is why we use cell references to automate the things and uh, to ease the calculation Okay, yeah, like in just uh, just enter one formula and then drag it up to where you want the that formula to be applied, and the whole calculations will be done easily. So there you have it. We have explained everything about the cell reference, its types, and how to use them. I hope you find the video helpful. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. So you don't miss out on future excel tips and tricks. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. And thanks for watching.